Yeah, everyone's saying, well, what government should work like this? You just look in, you click a few buttons, and you get your passport in the next few days. Uh, and that is ultimately a system that's underpinned by digital government and data sharing. Mm. Uh, I mean, passports are one thing, but, but essentially putting the government in charge of your life and your identity in, in a pretty big way is it's quite another. I think a really important thing to understand about digitalisation is that we're not just talking about you know, what we used to cover under this moniker of ID cards. Digital ID is about yes, proving that you are who you say you are. It's also about connecting different types of information that we have around you to make your life better, more convenient, and to put you in control of that data so that you can actually see what we know about you uh, and can correct errors, can receive services based on this. How do you make sure it can't be hacked? As with everything, cyber security is really important, but knowing what we have, knowing where it is, and being able to put in place those protections is how we do this. And again, this is something that digital professionals in government and outside of government do day in and day out. Okay, um, Alan, if we can come to you next. Alan Miller, founder of the Together Group. Um, what do you make of that? It's very interesting that the Tony Blair Institute's answer to so many problems is let's get digital ID. Um, I think there are numerous issues. We've seen, um, firstly, uh, that concerns that the public have about two-tier policing and monitoring or suspending areas for protest. Uh, the concerns around digital ID of tracking, surveillance and monitoring. We've seen debanking because of political...